Hey folks, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at something that's a little different from what we have done so far. We looked extensively at how do you crack PM interviews, uh, but in today's video, we're going to be going in depth into what are the best ways you can apply it to that PM role and how do you maximize your chances of landing that particular interview. Before we proceed, a small request to you all to take a look at the survey link in the description below. Yeah, we're looking for feedback on how the videos have been so far on the channel. Uh, we also want to hear from you what are the videos that you want to see next. So do make sure to take out one or two minutes of your time and fill that survey out. And now back to the video. So starting off with the very first method of applying, which is probably the most traditional one that you would have been aware of. This is applying through any job portal, uh, LinkedIn, Nokri.com, Monster, any of those that exist. This is probably the most easiest way to apply for uh, PM jobs or any jobs for that matter. And the reason why it's so easy is because all you need is a well-written resume and an account on uh, any of these platforms. Yeah, the advantage of applying through job portals is that it's great if you're starting off your application process. The other advantage is also that you can maximize your reach because like I said, if you just have your resume, you can just filter the job that you want and keep applying to each of those that you like. But it does have its downsides as well. The biggest downside is that your response rate is going to be really low. What you have to understand here is that on the other side, there is something called an applicant tracking system, which is usually used to filter the resumes even before they reach the hands of say the hiring manager or the person in the HR department. And since there would be hundreds and hundreds of applicants um, who would be using this particular route, which is applying through the job portals, you may not really be able to stand out amongst everybody and your profile, even though it's great, could actually be rejected by the ATS system itself. But it's still a great way to start. So now how else could you go about applying? The second approach is to reach out to people on LinkedIn. Um, you could reach out to say someone to seek a referral. Uh, maybe you found a job on LinkedIn, you want someone to refer you. So you reach out to that person who's working in that company. Um, you have a small discussion with them around why you think this, is, this job is a good fit for you. And then you ask them for your referral. That's a great way to actually uh, beat that initial, maybe say applicant tracking system. And it's not necessary that you, you should only reach out to people when you want a referral from them. If in case you feel like you want to work for a particular company or in a particular team and you are able to find someone from that team or from that company who's in a similar role that you want to get into, feel free to just reach out to them over LinkedIn and just let them know that you're interested. This is actually a secretly good approach. And the reason why it's kind of secretly good is because what you have to understand is when you're inside a company, when a new opening comes up, the time from which the new opening has been created to the time the job gets posted on LinkedIn, there's usually a few weeks gap. And hiring managers usually want to fill up the open positions as quickly as possible. If you've already reached out to a person and you have denoted your interest in joining their company and you've sent your resume, then it's most probably gonna be the case that they would at least take a look at your resume. Even if it's a decent fit, you could even be called for an interview. And even if you don't get that particular job at that point, you could always follow up with this person. You could follow up maybe three months, six months, or a year later, just to let them know, hey, I'm still looking for a role in this particular company. If you think there are any openings there, and if you think I'm a good fit, do let me know. Right? A simple message like this will do wonders. If you really want to take things to the next level, you could even make a pitch or a case deck on the particular company. You could just take a problem that the company is probably going through right now. Um, if you're applying for a PM role, you could look at uh, how you would solve this problem, what are some of the features that you would have, prepare a long case study, and you could even attach it with your short note on why you want to say, uh, apply to this company or work in this company. This is definitely going to differentiate you from everybody else who's applying because you put in that extra effort, that extra work to actually uh, want that particular role. And it's also a great way to signal how talented you are. The next approach in applying for roles and getting that interview call is via hiring contests or hackathons. This is a method that's been in place for the last two to three years. It's a fairly new method. There are many companies today which conduct hiring hackathons in partnership with companies that are hiring for PM roles. Uh, for example, PM Schools Hiring Hackathon is a good example of that. Usually what happens in these hiring hackathons is that you get to work on a live problem that the company is facing. You get around seven to 10 days to make a case study, present that to the people in the company. And if you did a good job and you landed up in say the first two to three positions, then you could get the chance to interview for that role uh, in that company. Now, this is a much better way than applying through uh, maybe a job portal or using your resume to apply because everybody's starting off on the same foot. Everybody is going to be judged on how well they solve that particular case study. And it's not based on your past experience and other things like that. The final approach is for those who are trying to move into PM roles from non-PM roles. This method is probably going to be the easiest method for you 
and this is to look for product management opportunities within your own org the reason why this is going to be an easy approach for you is that if you were to apply to a pm role within your org you already know how the org functions um, you would already probably know about the product itself you know about the strategy of the company you would know much much more than someone who's say coming in from the outside hiring managers would definitely be more than open to take you uh, from inside since you know so much about the company and so much about how it works the last approach is to actively seek referrals referrals have this enormous power to uh, help your resume and your profile cross a uh, few steps and get directly into the hands of say the hiring manager and the person who's interviewing uh, because referrals generally carry a lot of weight and if the person is more senior then the weight is uh, even more so actively look for referrals reach out to people make sure that before you do any of these things you have a well written resume so one piece of advice that i would say is that uh, take help from someone who can actually go through your resume and tell you where you maybe need to improve what are the lines you need to have and how you need to maybe structure all of the work that you've done so that concludes the five ways you can apply to pm roles and maximize your chances of getting that interview if you have any questions put them down in the chat below and we'll make sure you get them answered and until the next video happy applying